take me home tonight. I don't wanna be the one to meet the one till I see the light. No! Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Tom and Huck. Tom and Huck is a 1995 theatrical release. It is directed by Peter Hewitt, cinematography by Bobby Bukowski, editing by David Freeman, music is by Stephen Endelman, and it's written by Stephen Summers and David Lowry. Peter Hewitt is best known for Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, Thunder Pants, the Candy Show and Surprise. Bobby Bukowski is best known for Arlington Road, Boogeyman, Take Me Home Tonight, and The Messenger. David Freeman is best known for The Full Monty, Clash of the Titans, Mickey Blue Eyes, and How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. Stephen Endelman is best known for Delovely, A Boy, A Man, and A Kite, Home of the Brave, and Operation Condor. Stephen Summers and David Lowry I've covered in previous videos. They will list and link in the description. The film is based off The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, written by Mark Twain, released in 1876. I thought through all of these Tom and Huck movies that I've covered this book before, but it turns out that all of the Tom and Huck movies were either adaptions of Huck Finn or sequels to Huck Finn, so I always just summarize that one. So we have not summarized The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Shall we compare? Tom Sawyer lives with his Aunt Polly and his half-brother Sid. Tom skips school and has to paint his aunt's fence as punishment. Tom persuades other children to do his chores and they give him small trinkets in return. He uses these trinkets to trade tickets for a special Bible in Sunday school. Tom has fallen for Becky Thatcher and her father is impressed when he wins the Bible. Tom is found out when he can't answer the simplest questions about scripture. Becky and Tom get engaged when they kiss but she finds out he was previously engaged to a girl named Amy and shuns him. Tom goes with Huck Finn to a graveyard to heal wards. They see three men robbing a grave. Muff Potter blacks out. And Injun Joe kills Dr. Robinson and frames Muff. Tom and Huck swear a blood oath not to tell because they're afraid of Injun Joe killing them. Muff is jailed, assuming he did it in a drunken stupor. Tom convinces Huck to run away and be pirates. The adults believe Tom and Huck have died and the boys crash their own funerals. Tom wins back Becky's favor. At the trial, Injun Joe continues to frame Muff, but Tom breaks the blood oath and exposes him. Injun Joe escapes and the boys live in constant fear. Tom and Huck go treasure hunting in haunted houses and come across Injun Joe, who is with a companion who has found treasure. Huck overhears that Injun Joe plans to mutilate the widow Douglas and he prevents the crime becoming an anonymous hero. On a school trip to a cave, Tom and Becky get separated from the rest and get lost. Tom spies Injun Joe in the cave but remains unseen, finds him and Becky a way out, and the town rejoices. Judge Thatcher has the cave closed. Tom gathers a posse to go get Injun Joe, knowing he's still inside the cave. They open the cave and find him just inside the door, dead. Tom and the others feel terrible, so they try to get Injun Joe pardoned. Tom takes Huck back to the cave to find the treasure, which they do. The money is invested for them, and Widow Douglas adopts Huck. Huck finds it difficult to live with her, but Tom convinces him to stay. The end. Okay, so that was actually actually pretty different than the movie. The movie, they definitely have a confrontation with Injun Joe in the cave. Huck is there with the confrontation with Injun Joe in the cave. Becky and Tom aren't stuck in the cave for days. Um, Huck doesn't save the Widow Douglas. There's just so much is different. It's it's different. The film stars Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Brad Renfro, Amy Wright, Eric Schwieg, Michael McShane, Rachel Lee Cook, and Charles Rocket. Jonathan Taylor Thomas plays Tom. And I covered him in the video with the Lion King, the link will be in the description. Brad Renfro plays Huck Finn, and he's best known for apt pupil sleepers, the client, and the cure. Amy Wright plays Aunt Polly, and she's best known for the Amityville horror, Breaking Away, and Deer Hunter. Eric Schwick plays Injun Joe, and is best known for The Last of the Mohicans, Big Eden, Skins, and this. Michael McShane plays Muff Potter, and is best known for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Drop Dead Gorgeous, Office Space, and A Bug's Life. Rachel Lee Cook plays Becky Thatcher, and is best known for She's All That, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Get Carter, and 1114. Charles Rocket plays Judge Thatcher, and he's best known for Dumber and Dumber, Dances with Wolves, Titan AE, and Shortcuts. The film has a 25% on Rotten Tomatoes and made $23.9 million in the domestic box office. This movie is not good. It's not horrible, but it's just not good. I feel like they didn't do the book justice. I also feel like growing up, all I ever heard was Tom Sawyer is such a brat and Huck Finn was like the one who was better, even though like he would get roped into some of the bad stuff. He always had a good heart and would do what's right. Where in this movie, Tom is the one who like is kind of a brat and convinces people to do things for him, but for the most part is good hearted and wants to do the right thing. And Huck Finn is the one who's like being all bad and he's older than him and doesn't want to be friends with Tom. I have no idea what that's about in this movie. It was very confusing and it's never like it's resolved but not really like Huck is still kind of not cool even though he ends up with the Widow Douglas. I don't know. 
The scene with Becky and Tom saying I love you was really cringe. I didn't like it. This whole film didn't feel like a children's movie. It didn't even feel like an adult movie. It, I don't even know, it didn't even feel like a family movie. I don't know what it was trying to be, if I'm being perfectly honest. I didn't think it, I don't know. It was kind of all over the place. And I get that the story is kind of all over the place, but still. It just, no. The scene in the haunted house where the boys are up in the attic and Injun Joe and his companion are finding treasure, I legitimately thought it was toward the end of the movie and it was only halfway. So the pacing of the film was definitely off. And I just have to say that's everything. I, I didn't really enjoy this movie. It's not bad. Again, I'm giving it a pretty average score, but it's like really like bland and run of the mill like i won't watch it again but it's not a horribly made film and there's good actors in it so my final rating is six treasures out of ten our total movie count is parent death toll there is no parent death toll they never talk about tom's parents so Parent that's all and correct counters the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out the movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join my Patreon. <laughs> Until next time, following Star Wars, I'll have you are so you do, and don't be Injun Joe about it. I have to go. Kona really wants me. I'm coming, I'm coming.